thank you so much. And uh, thank you to all of you. Thank you to Lori, Dion, David, Rupin, and Joan. Uh, I'm very moved by your words. And thank you to all of you who have come up to stand here with me together. Because we are all in this together. <laughs> together, on Psalm, Razum, Juntos, Mama Way. It's the defining principle of our movement, together. It's why I'm here. It's why Deb and Dwayne and Jens are here. It's why we're all here today. As New Democrats, we have a strong history of visionary policies for all of us. From rural electrification to Medicare, from the Crown Corporations to the Saskatchewan Bill of Rights, we have a legacy of putting our principles into practice. And we're here today because we know that that legacy is as much about tomorrow as it is about yesterday. Yeah. Our values of equality, integrity, social justice, they're what make our party different and they're the reason that our party has been chosen to lead the province for 47 of the last 65 years. Like all of you here today, I'm here because I believe that the NDP is the best choice to build a better future for Saskatchewan. You know, when I set off to become a family doctor, really entering politics was the furthest thing from my mind. And it's, uh, it's been quite a journey from growing up on a farm in Carval to a med school lecture theater in Saskatoon to finding myself in front of you today asking for your support to become the next leader of the New Democratic Party of Saskatchewan. As a physician, I've worked with patients and communities in Saskatoon's inner city neighborhood where I live and where I was part of starting SWITCH, a student-run clinic that serves the core. In northern communities such as La Loche, Isla Cross, and Dillon. In rural communities like Turtleford, Carrobert, Esther Hazy, and Winyard. And in southern Africa, in Mozambique, where I worked to help prevent and treat malaria, tuberculosis, and HIV. Being a family doctor has been very rewarding, but it's also very frustrating. It's frustrating because people don't get sick when they walk in the clinic. They don't get sick when they walk in the emergency room. They get sick in their real lives. The real causes of ill health, that's what we need to address. If we're truly serious about improving people's health, we need to look at education, employment, nutrition, housing, and the environment. Because we know that the roots of ill health are political, and there are political solutions if we have the courage to pursue them. Yeah. Building a healthier society is the very reason our party exists. And it's for that reason that I'm running to be the new leader of the NDP and the next Premier of Saskatchewan. Yeah. As New Democrats, we know. We know that if rents rise faster than wages and people are homeless in a Saskatchewan winter, then we're not building a healthy society. If we extract our natural resources at an alarming rate without investing in the future, then we're not building a healthy society. If workers lose their right to organize, if families can't see a future for their children on the farm, or if dozens of communities across the province have to boil their water before they can drink it, we're not building a healthy society. That's right. That's right. If our economic policy is such that we might as well change our provincial motto from, from many people's strength to every man for himself, then we're certainly not building a healthy society. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can do better and we know it. We can face our challenges. We can make the changes we need. We can choose a new direction that will inspire and empower the next generation of new Democrats. 
When we invest in renewable energy, when we invest in long-term economic and environmental sustainability, then we're building a healthy society. When, it, when a growing First Nations and Métis population is seen as a sign of a bright future ahead that it can be, that it should be, then we're building a healthy society. Yeah. When we help rural communities to thrive again, when childcare is available to support families, when we stop simply defending Medicare and look to expand and improve it, then we're building a healthy yeah. society. Yeah. When we remember that we're all in this together, then we're building a healthy society. Yeah. And the best part is, the best part is it works. Improving people's lives, helping them to escape poverty, well, it decreases our costs and it strengthens our economy. It's not just the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do. And that's where I get excited, because that's where politics has the potential to energize, to mobilize, to inspire. Where strategy meets philosophy, where our heads meet our hearts. Over the last few months, I've had the opportunity to meet thousands of people across this great province, and what they told me has been very moving. They said that they were joining the party for the very first time, or for the first time in many years, because they felt like they could finally vote for something they believed in, rather than against something they didn't. Our campaign has won the hearts of a great many New Democrats. Today I'm asking for your heads, because for too long we've been offered false choices. Jobs or the environment. A strong economy or labor rights. Rebuild the party or win the next election. But our party is not about separation and division. It's about unity and vision. It's about coming together around the values that we share. Because we are a party of principles. We're also a party that wins elections so that we can put those principles into action. And if we want to win again, we must show that we are a renewed party, a vibrant movement. We must distinguish ourselves clearly from the SASC party and articulate a vision of social democracy for the 21st century. We must excite and inspire people once again. And to do so, we need to stop putting the future off until tomorrow. We need to, we need to reconnect the leadership with the membership and rebuild the party now. We have to articulate and demonstrate our values. We need to develop a plan for the practical application of those ideals in order to create a visionary platform for the coming election and put our principles into action. We must excite and inspire people once again. Yeah. Together. Together, our future as a party can be better. Together, our future as a province can be better. Together, we can build a healthy society. And I'm ready to get started. How about you? Yeah. All right. Well, let's get started. Let's get to work. Let's build a healthy society. Let's build our future together. Thank you. Thank you so much.